Hello and welcome to this XTFX technical briefing on production asset management and editorial workflow on the Element storage platform. In this scenario, the Elements Cube storage appliance is attached to the facility network and visible to the internet via a VPN. The administrator logs into the Cube from the web GUI, which provides intuitive point-and-click access to a broad range of storage management, security, project management and asset management functionality. He begins by creating a production, where all of the project's assets and metadata are stored. Next, a workspace is created within the production. If required, it may be defined as an AVID workspace. The administrator can define which work group may have read and write access to the workspace. Now a media route is created for the workspace, enabling it to be automatically mounted as a virtual drive on any system logging into the Elements web GUI or desktop client. The process is repeated for any additional workspaces required within the production. Now the administrator selects a user and defines their permissions within the project. In this instance, the user Dan is added to the work group and assigned to this project. The user is granted permissions to access the media library and the media editor. Now I'll log in with the username Dan. When I log in to the Elements desktop client from my machine, the workspaces are mounted automatically and I can begin uploading assets to them using the generic file manager in the OS. Alternatively, I can work with assets in the media library, where the content is displayed as scrollable thumbnails for quick review. Opening a clip in the player provides further functionality. Clips can be rated and annotated with text comments or visual overlays which can be used for navigation, review and approval. Clips can also be marked up in the player. In this example I set in and out points on a clip and store a cut in the cut list. In the media editor, cuts in the player can be assembled into a sequence and reordered as required. The resulting editing decisions may then be exported as an XML for further refinement downstream in a craft editing solution. Or the sequence could be exported as a media file with the produce tool, either as individual consolidated segments with user-defined handles or an assembled reference movie with full control over media encoding settings. Now we'll take a look at tasks. Tasks enable automated actions to be applied to the contents of hot folders and scheduled or triggered manually. In this example, I create an automated media encoding task applied to the contents of a hot folder. I'll create a job, select the function, define the folder where I've stored my rough cut as the hot folder, set the output folder and encoding settings. I'll also prepare an automated email notification for the client when the task is completed. Now I'll start the job manually. I can also schedule tasks or set intervals for folder scanning to trigger the task. Now I'll locate the output file in the file manager. As with all production assets and elements, permissions can be set for file access for security purposes. Now the exported XML can be imported and finessed downstream in an editing solution and the exported offline movie used for reference. Alternatively, the editor can access the Elements Media Library directly from the editing solution. The Media Library extension has been installed on this Premier host allowing the editor to review production assets prior to importing them into the application. As we've seen during this brief overview, Elements is more than just high performance storage. It's a media centric production platform designed with creatives in mind, featuring asset management, security, editorial, automation and deliverables. I've only scratched the surface of the functionality here. To get more information or to organise a demo, get in touch with experts at xtfx.co.uk.